Welcome back, everybody, to another Divi Project update for November 1st, 2022. It is a new month. Man, October went by so fast, but it was a treat, so I enjoyed it. I hope you guys had a great night as well. And yeah, it's a new month. Let's go over the news. What's going on with Divi on this first of the month? Well, let's start with Nick Sapinair's channel. He's only got one tweet out there today, and it's nothing to the crypto. It's just, honestly, how have they not remastered SSX Tricky? For, the, for those of you who don't know who that is, it is a snowboarding game that was on the PlayStation 2, GameCube, and it had some pretty sick music on there. But again, why have we not remastered any snowboarding games? It's been a while since I've seen one of those. I used to play the 1080 uh, indie something game for the N64. That was my snowboarding game. <laughs> but the music alone in the new game would be awesome. <laughs> I had some insane scores back in the day, and the signature moves were nuts. Blast from the past. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for that boss of the past nick uh but yeah what else is going on with divi project today well yeah thank you guys so much but based on the number of likes this was everyone's favorite halloween costume congrats sherpa check your wool as you are a few divi richer and it is there thank you so much for that and thank you guys for voting me uh, yeah, Super Mario collecting digital coins since 83. Uh, Berg saying congrats, sir. Thank you. I wish I was that guy. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for me. So yeah, thank you guys. And again, I hope everyone had a great Halloween. And then what else is going on today? Do meme coins benefit the crypto industry? This was a post from the Divi Wallet. They want to get our answer on, are they a net positive and negative thing, crypto industry? Explain your answers in comments. I was like on the fence with both, but I posted positive because it gets people involved in crypto. But again, usually when they get hurt by the end, it leaves a nasty taste. So it's like a, uh, I don't know, is it a positive? It's a negative. It's, it's just one of those. It's like, it's a little of both in my opinion. <laughs> so I wish there was a uh, choice for that one. Just a little of both. And I would totally click on that. <laughs> Right, uh, Henry C was like, they bring new people into the market. So sadly, people usually end up losing their money faster. Like I said, like they bring it in, but some of them lose their money faster. Some people actually learn about the industry and actually use it for their benefit. So yeah, and let's see, no publicity is bad publicity. So again, like again, people think like memes do bring a good publicity. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think about it. And now as the title says of the project, uh, L... LW, aka Lightning Works protects its futures with extra portals. Here is a little piece from an article that was written, but on November 7th, we will be minting out 777 portal Genesis NFTs, but we won't stop there. Unless you've been living under a rock, you might have noticed an increasing amount of NFT marketplaces not requiring you to pay royalties. So what's the plan? To protect its team and artists against 0% royalties, Lightning Works has taken a page out of the crypto playbook. Typically, a cryptocurrency startup foundation or DAO is rewarded as a treasury to invest back into the project. Lightning Works will be bringing that same concept to NFTs. So the Lightning Works DAO, <clears throat> Lightning Works plans to slowly increase supply within a seven-year span for a total of 1,227. One third of the newly minted NFTs will go to the Lightning Works DAO, and all portal holders will get a vote to elect a board of directors that decide on how the DAO funds will be distributed. Here's a chart for the minted by year to the total minted for the next seven years. <clears throat> Now, the distribution. The chart below shows the growth in supply, which is less than 20% in the first year and dropping rapidly after that. Founder Jeffrey McCabe has already proven with Divi that proper gamification and tier structures can absorb additional supply if done properly. Yes, Divi's been doing everything by the books and so great. And like, yeah, so everything, so Jeff gets it. So and he's going to implement that with Lightning Works. And here's that chart as it goes through the rate growth by year. And let's see, the Divi model. Divi started with a 108% inflation in the first year. Six years later, it's still in the 15% range. Yet, because of its tiered staking slash node system, the market cap and price also rose dramatically, making us one of the most successful ICOs of all time. So way to go, Divi. But yeah, and then com competitive advantages. Added supply gives Lightning Works an advantage over the other projects because it will be well funded to project uh, to produce lots of great comics for portal hurdles to mint and sell. The additional capital means Lightning Works can invest in their best artists and writers and grow rapidly. 
Now, the final thoughts are there are about 200 or 2,200 comic shops in the U.S. alone, and by offering Genesis tokens for them to become distributors, Wood could uh, we could potentially add millions of fans to the Lightningworks ecosystem. That's true, like because the comic book shops out there have their own ecosystem. You may not notice it, but they are around. <laughs> and while tokens are being added, we have taken a conservative approach of keeping our Genesis collection scarce and utilizing the additional tokens received for strategic partnerships and the betterment and growth of our brand. The complete blog is here on our website for Lightning Works. So I have a link to the Lightning Works website down there, and you take a look at it. So, yeah. Uh, YHQ is like, who else is impressed by Jeffrey McKay's strategy and vision? First Divi project is a winner, and now planning to create another revolutionary project through Lightning Works. Amazing insights in the thread. This makes me crave the Genesis 7 7 collection. And me too, brother. And yeah, so that's. That, you can mint that collection on November 7th, 7th. Yep. So in six days, I think it is 0.117 Ethereum. It's under 0.2, but <laughs> that is the correct number, I believe. 0.11 and we're out there. So yeah, so way to go. Lightning works. Keep up the great work. And yeah, you're just following the Divi plane. Divi worked out. So let's see if this one does the same. And if you want to have any questions for Jeff at all, he will be on the Divi Community Spaces project for it. So you don't want to miss this Friday. Set your reminder. Any questions of Jeff, he will be there and he will be glad to answer them. And as well as the Lightning Works guy. So yeah, set that reminder. I think mine is set. There we go. And I will see you guys on Friday. And then nothing else going on on the Discord channel. Uh, this copies of Nick. I'm gonna question about the wallet on their phone. It's having issues, but nothing really going on here. I posted the latest Divi Community Fantasy Football League update on this size. So if you like following this, we got a 25,000 Divi pot going between these seven of us, I believe, who paid. So yeah, it's been a fun season. Everyone was out. Thank you for watching and enjoying it with us. But yeah, that's about it for the Divi project news for today. Uh, Divi's price right now is at 0.016 cents. We're down 0.47% since yesterday. Market cap's at 51.8 million and total trading volume is 177,000. Our current market cap rank is number 359. And then here's our day chart. We had the little dip going on, but we were back to where we were yesterday. So not much of a change going on in 24 hours. Uh, total master nodes is 2056. So, yeah, since it's a new month, I would love to get a new chart. I think Knees is the one who creates them. So, yeah, looking forward to that chart when it comes out so we can see the numbers of Divi for the month of October. And if you haven't downloaded the official original crypto wallet of La Liga, I have a link down below to this website. And here you can just either click on Apple Store or Google Play to download it to your phone. Back up that seed phrase and you are good to go. So I hope you guys like this content. If so, hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. I appreciate that. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out. <laughs>